Hi internet friends, it's Sierra again, back with another tutorial. This was a request from Neil A in the comments. Thank you so much for dropping a comment. This is going to be Why Can't This Be Love by Van Halen, such a great song. If you find this tutorial valuable, please give me a thumbs up, drop a comment if you have another request or something else you wanna see. And please subscribe because it totally helps me to grow. Thank you so much. All right, coming up. So intro. All right, let's go over the chords. All right, so like always, there are a couple different variations of the chords. In this song, we're going to have C. An A minor. An F. G and then in this version it has a D7 but I prefer the D and then they have an A5 which they say they can play like this but I prefer this and then an E for this song is down with a tiny pause, down with a tiny pause, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So we will go ahead and go through the intro. That's the intro and the first verse and the chorus. We played through that nice and slow. I am not going to play the whole thing here, but I have uh, my cover of this song on my channel. You can find that down below. So there is one little thing that I do differently and it's in the chorus. When I play an A minor, I like to put my, play this C note it sounds real pretty so that is something I add to that so I will leave uh, a link in the just I will leave a link in the description below I got the chords for this on ultimate guitar this version I'm looking at now is pretty generic I play it a little differently I changed the d7 to a D I changed the a5 to there's another version of A5 I found a while back. There is a part in the song that I leave out because I just didn't figure it out when I was learning it and I haven't yet. Maybe I never will. But the part where they go Anyways, uh, if y'all figure that part out, 
maybe hit me up and let me know because I do like stinging them but it was just it was just much more simple to figure it out this way when I was learning it I learned this song for a couple of friends of mine this was our theme song back in the day so and then for the outro this version has this kind of long complicated outro I wanna know I I just like to fade it out like that. Uh, this version I found on Ultimate Guitar does have this little So you could riff on that, jam on that, uh, jam it out if you have like a ripping soloist who wants to do a little noodle in. I found this tab on Ultimate Guitar. It's where I get most of my tabs. I find it really convenient. Back before I got the technology, I used to actually print out the lyrics on a piece of paper and I would just leave little spaces and then I would go back in and I would handwrite the chords. I actually have... I did that for this song. That's how I learned this song, as I did it like that. Um, but I find uh, you can find so many chords on the, you can find so many tabs on the internet. I basically find one, play it through, and if it feels right to me, I'll go with that one. If I play it through and it doesn't feel right to me, I will keep looking for another one that feels right. Sometimes tabs are just not quite right. Ultimate Guitar is really handy. There is a couple of functions that I wanted to point out. One is the little pencil on top, uh, top right corner. You click the pencil and it takes you to editor mode, I guess. And then you can go through and you can edit the lyrics, you can edit the chords, you can move things around, you can add verses, you can take away verses, you can do all sorts of customization. Another feature I really like is the transpose, which is right below the little pencil. And you click on that and then you can adjust the song up or down to find the range that best suits your voice or instrument, whatever. Another one is just across the way from that on the upper left hand side, right under the chords in the song. It says chords and then right below I have it set on ukulele because I play ukulele, but you can click on that and you can change between guitar, ukulele, and piano, so that's super helpful. You can simplify it, but I don't like to simplify it. I like it complex. I really appreciate all the requests I've been getting lately. Life has been a little nuts the past couple of weeks, but I've been, I've been working on these. They take a little longer. It's a whole different style of filming and editing that just takes a little more time, but I am working on churning some of those out for all y'all, and I am really excited to be making these. It's pretty fun. It's making me up my skills for sure. Yeah, so be on the lookout for more tutorials headed up. If y'all have any requests, hit me up in the comments for tutorials or just for songs. Hit the thumbs up if you have found this helpful, and please subscribe because it totally helps me to grow. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, let's start talking. <laughs> Hard because I'm learning. I'm having a hard time with words. Okay. Hi. Garbage truck. So I basically play the verse. <laughs> Ratchet. So if you want to play along, go ahead and watch that video I will put down below. She's the cutest. Yeah, look at that girl. Look at that gato. Hey, look at that girl. I just want that girl to be in the theme. Girl, 
muita lava. É a minha mulher. Look at her stunt for the camera. Isn't she just the cutest? I think she is. Okay, I could keep going, but I won't. Where did she go? Oh my god. Okay, cute. 